So let's suppose you would like to start working with the stair by sketch. Then what you can do is you can go to stair and then we have this sketch create sketch option. Now let's suppose I would like to create a custom sketch somewhere here. So what we'll do is let's suppose let me go to the south view and let's create a another level. Now this level 3 is at a height of let's suppose 800. So let's go to level number 1 and then what I want is I want to create a custom stair here by using by sketch which should start from level 1 to level number 3. So what I'll do is let me select this uh, this door and cell height will shift it to 800. Okay so now how to start with the stair by sketch so let's go to stair and then you click on create sketch click on create sketch and then you can see you have the boundary the riser and the stair path so what we'll do is let's select the sketch the stair path for a run or landing so let's suppose I will start from somewhere here now you can see from level 1 to level number 3 we need around 5 steps now next I'll go to the boundary and then let's create a boundary here and to the other side and then let's create the riser so what I can do with the riser I can click on riser and then this is my first riser as you can see one riser we created and then you can now one of the advantage here we have is we can use different shapes so let's suppose the second riser is a bit arc in shape then let's make the another one so two risers remaining and then the third one and let's suppose the last one is straight again so now you can see five risers are created and zero remaining so now let's click on finish okay so we are getting one error here so let's click on continue so let me go back and delete this part and click finish all right so now you can see here we have the our stair is coming in opposite direction by the way so what we can do is we can just simply select it and then we can click on flip now click finish let's go to the 3d view and now you can see our custom stair using stair, uh, stair by sketch has been created here so this is one way you can use stair by sketch now I will I'm going to show you another way how you can use stair by sketch so that is for example let's suppose you have a stair by component so let's suppose it is a straight stair okay now I would like to start from level number one and it should go to level number two and the run width let's keep it 1000 only now what I want is let's suppose it is starting from somewhere here okay let's do it from here so the first point and the second point and then click finish so here you can see we have our stair by st uh, straight stair by component option now what I will do is I would like to modify this stair and convert it to a stair by sketch mode so that I can modify its boundary lines so for that what we can do is select the stair and then click on edit stair next again you select the stair and then click on convert so what it will do is it will convert to sketch based stair so click on convert to sketch based close it now you can see it is already converted now what you need to do is you need to edit the sketch so again we select it and then go to edit sketch now you can see here in the green color we have the boundary lines and in the black we have the riser so what I am going to do is I would like to change just the boundary line so let's suppose it is going to be a bit in arc in shape and similarly I will use the mirror command and make the another one on the right side let's select the first one here the old one old boundary line delete it Sec select the second boundary line and delete it now no need to attach this risers till the boundary line it will automatically attach when you click on finish so once done you can click finish and then come out of the command go to 3d view and now you can see your stair by component has been created you can see so here what we have done we have used we have created a stair by component 
uh, or a stair we use we create a stair using a mix of component and sketch so first we create the straight stair by using by stair by component option then we convert it into stair by sketch and then we modify its boundary uh, boundary lines and then this is how our stair has been created thank you very much